So, have you checked out Pat Condell? Condell? Not sure how to say his last name. His latest video, A Society of Cowards. Amazing video. This guy is amazing. I don't always agree with him, but most of the time I think he makes excellent points. He's a fabulous speaker, and I don't know if he's, um, if he's actually talking off the cuff in his videos or if he writes his videos first and then does the presentation. Either way, his, his, his writing is wonderful. And in this particular video, it sounds like something that should be, you know, a famous speech years and years from now. Remember that speech by K Pat Condell or... I know I'm butchering his last name. Anyway, it's a fabulous speech and I 100% agree with it. He's talking about Islam and um, the terrorism that this religion practices in Great Britain. And I'm thinking, listening to this, this is just the future of the United States. I mean, it's not going to just, they're not going to just be satisfied with Great Britain. They're coming here. <laughs> you know, if, if Christianity and, I mean, one day I suspect these two religions are going to merge and just become one big hate, hate mongering religion. But <laughs> I think, I think the problem problem in Britain is coming to the United States in the near future. So it is a matter of concern to Americans. It's a matter of concern anyway, because I'm sorry, no religion should fucking be able to get away with the kind of terrorism Islam practices. I remember when England was England, and now it's a f I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to play a clip from him, from his current video. You say the wrong thing about the religion of peace, you'll get death threats and you might actually be killed, so you keep your mouth shut if you know what's good for you. All for the sake of tolerance and diversity, of course. TV and newspapers routinely censor themselves now in a way that would have been unthinkable a few decades ago, not because they want to be sensitive, as they always claim, but because they're afraid of Muslim violence. Not only are they afraid of it, they're afraid even to admit they're afraid of it, in case it offends. There was a good example of this here in Britain a few weeks ago when a pair of notorious Islamic grievance mongers whipped up a controversy out of nothing and tried to get parliamentary candidate Majid Nawaz deselected because he tweeted a cartoon of Muhammad to say that as a Muslim he didn't find it offensive. Not content with causing trouble for him here in Britain, these two human oil slicks also made sure that the story reached Pakistan, where people get killed for such things and where Mr. Nawaz has family and business. And the death threats duly arrived, as everyone knew they would. BBC Newsnight and Channel 4 News were all over this story and both took the extremist side while pretending to be neutral by refusing to show the cartoon and thereby betrayed every decent secular Muslim in Britain of whom Mr. Nawaz is a prime example. They help to make it even less likely that these small-minded Islamic bullies will ever be effectively challenged in their community. And let's be clear about why they did this. They did it out of fear. They did it because they were afraid that they and their families might be murdered. Welcome to multicultural Britain. Don't you love the diversity? And don't you feel enriched? But if the media won't defend free speech, then what exactly are the media for? And who will defend it? And who can? You know, I sympathize with any news editor in this predicament, but if you run a national TV news program, you have a responsibility to stand up and be counted. It's more than just a job. You are the gatekeeper for our free speech and our free information. Your job is to report the truth with all the relevant information accurately and fearlessly. And if you can't do that, or if you're too afraid to do it, then you shouldn't be in the job because you're not qualified for it. And you are inflicting real damage on our society through your cowardice and the important position you hold. If you had an ounce of integrity, you would stand aside now, find a nice, safe little cubbyhole where you can't be threatened, and hand that job to somebody with a spine who... I don't want to play his whole video because it's his video. You need to go check it out because it's... It's awesome. You know what? Fuck... Islam. Fuck Islam. I'm sorry. Uh, I feel bad for the for the Islam for the the Muslims who truly like to 
be deluded by the, or, or truly are deluded that their religion is peaceful. Um, Islam is like Christianity on steroids. Islam is the undiluted form of Christianity, more or less, because they both they both adhere to the Old Testament, except that Islam actually um, abides by the Old Testament more than Christianity. I mean, they literally do stone people to death for things like, ooh, I don't know, having a cell phone if they have tits. Oh my god, the horror. Uh, a religion or people of a religion who cut people's heads off for, ooh, I don't know, saying that they are atheists or, or drawing pictures, yeah, of something, or, or posting a cartoon, issuing death threats on their family and in some cases carrying them through because of a fucking drawing? You know, if they, if they are so fucking wimpy that they can't take it, they can't take a little criticism of their religion. Ooh, you don't want to draw Muhammad because, ooh, that's sacrilegious. You know, if Muhammad is such a, a pussy <laughs> that he can't take a little negative feedback from people who don't believe in him, then he's not worth worshipping. Oh, I'm sorry, you precious Muhammad. Yeah, like, ooh, so holy. We gotta, we have to walk on eggshells. We can't say anything bad. We can't draw pictures. We can't put up cartoons. Oh, no. I hate it. I hate that this is happening to Britain. I hate it that Sharia law, or however it's pronounced, is happening to Britain. That women in Britain are being... In, in put into courtrooms where they are not innocent until proven fucking guilty. To me, this is a poison even greater than Christianity. I stay away from Islam because I don't know about it. I don't know about the religion very much. I know that there are good people who are Muslims and truly are peace-loving, and they truly think their religion is peace-loving. But I hear, I'm sorry, so much, so many stories like this that I think that, you know, the, the extremists, the whatevers, I think they're the equivalent of evangelist Christians on, in the Muslim world. You know, threatening people's lives, shooting little girls in the face for wanting to have an education. Really? First of all, they deny half the population of their children the chance to have an education. Really? I'm sorry. It angers me. This is another reason why I stay away from making posts about Islam because it fucking angers me. There is nothing more ex more perfect an example of poison re religion in its most poisonous form than Islam. It's just unfathomable to me that people can be put in jail, you know, for being atheist or for drawing a picture or for putting up a cartoon oh it's like really your deity is that delicate you can't handle just a little bit of really oh it's like I'm sorry how thin skin can you get and then Pat goes on and talks about how we pander to to Muslims oh or to, yeah, Muslims, whatever. Oh, well, they can't control themselves, so we have to be extra specially nice around them. We don't want to do anything to rile their their tempers, because, you know, if you rile them, they might actually hack your family to pieces. Yeah, you know, I agree with Pat. I don't always agree with Pat in his videos. I 100% agree with this video. It made me angry. I was listening to it driving home, and it just angers me. It angers me that this religion gets away with the fear-mongering that it puts out to everybody else who isn't Islam. Fear-mongering. Apparently, he's, Islam has the, has the media can completely cowed in Great Britain. 
and I can just totally see that happening here. It might be a little bit more difficult because, you know, Christianity wants to be top dog, but I'm sorry, I don't think Christians have even the slightest clue how to be this nasty. They're going to have to definitely, to you know, to, to, to compete with these guys, they're going to have to digress a little bit. You know, right now they get really upset if you don't say Merry Christmas. Or if you get upset, you know, about them putting crosses and stuff up on public places. Well, for Christianity to keep up with Islam, when Islam decides to really take hold in the United States, Christians are going to have to get just as ugly as Islams are. Islams, Muslims are. I don't know. I just, I, ugh. I'm sorry, I just, it's unfathomable to me. It's just unfucking fathomable to me that this religion exists and that it's, people are stoned to death because of this religion. Girls are denied their rights to have the same potential as men because of this fucking religion. And now, why the hell are they doing this to Great Britain? Why don't, even know, why do they, they, they're going to, they're basically making Great Britain a different country from the sound of it doesn't sound like I mean they you go to another country to live you adhere to that other country's culture you know you be you want to be of Great Britain you don't I want to have my country here in your country now if you if you want to be British you go to you go to England you go to Britain and you become British yes you're still from such and such land but you're British you don't try to fucking change the laws or make the country be like the Middle Eastern country you came from. If you want the Middle Eastern country you came from, you go back to there, to the Middle Eastern country, where, they, where it's perfectly fine to burn women to death for cheating on their husbands or whatever the fuck, you know? Anyway, I'm just really pissed off after listening to this video, but I recommend it. It's a good video and it's so well written. It's so well said. Powerful speaker. That's what I have to say about Pat Condell. Condell? Um, and a very apt message, a very true message. I'm, I hate to think that this could be the future of this country too. But you know, I feel like one way or the other, either Christianity is going to completely destroy the country or Islam is going to come into America and destroy it. Unless atheists continue to do what we're doing at the top of our lungs. So anyway, if you've been watching, thanks. Bye! Okay, so Romeo and Juliet is this totally sweet love story about these two star-crossed lovers, Romeo and Juliet. So one night Juliet meets Romeo at this party, right? And it's totally like... But meanwhile their families are all... I hate you! No, stop! What'd you say to me? So they can't... Without... So Romeo ninjas his way into Juliet's courtyard all like... And he's totally sweet-talking her and just like... And she's like... Romeo! Oh, Romeo! Walk around all Romeo! And so he's just like... Hey, I'm, I'm down here. Anyway, then Romeo gets banished. Which makes Juliet like... So that everybody thinks she's all. But that makes Romeo all. Which makes Juliet all. And that's like the saddest love story ever. So let's just say they woke up. Their parents became best friends. And they drove off into a really cute convertible. Had like 10 million babies and lived happily ever after. The end.